Ah, uh, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Red GTV, man. We got OG Person. Ferguson, you on it? Tales from a motherfucking crib. I think this part four right here. Yeah, this part four, the Tales from the crib with the Ferguson, you on this shit. If I ain't mistaken. So we gonna go ahead and get into the clip, man. Yeah. Shit, you gonna do all your time fucking yeah, with yeah, that nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. She ain't gonna do it. But guess what? He ended up being my, uh, um, he ended up being one of my hard, my, my main leaders. What's that? What you, what you have? I block? Yeah. I had you on I block. You was on I block, K block. Now you was on I block. You was on I roll over though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J block. Yeah, that was your block. Your block was J block. Get out there, J block. Shout out to mom. Shout out to mom block. J block. My nigga Barlos. Shout out to Barlos that was on J block. Uh, that's Kool Aid, brother. Stop six blood Kool Aid, yeah, my yeah, boy yeah. Barlos, man. Shout out to Barlos, cuz. Barlos, you know I'm a fool with it, cuz. You hear me? Yeah, real nigga shit. You hear me? I ain't ran no flu gazy niggas, man. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying, you know? Yeah. Let's go, you know what I'm saying, man, you know? I just sit back there and watch them cats on them benches, man. And I, just, I just feel like, you know, I deserve a bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I did him. I never wanted to be a nigga, cuz Suge, when Suge left, he always told me. I had to use this. I always use this, man. This is the easy part, he told me. But you gotta use this, man. So I always do that because chess was my main thing. I played everything in prison like chess. I don't give a damn if it was just one pawn move and I gotta come back and move again the next day. I'm, I'm still watching that pawn. I'm gonna move it. It's gonna get moved. It's in the game. So, um. Somehow back there one day, man, I was standing on the back, man. All the crip niggas come in. We all sit at the, the back part. So I said, you know what? God damn. Well, you know, it's a bench back here. <laughs> yeah. It's a bench back here in the little corner. Right, right, right. Y'all niggas know what time it is on Ferguson. I need that bench. Everybody, every, every, every say, come on, cuz. Every, every block I went to, nigga, we had our bench. I'm finna come in and we finna make a mark. We need a bench. <laughs> we need a bench. Let nigga, any block I hit, nigga, we need a crip, niggas need a bench. We ain't gonna be standing up. You got Mexico over there, man. Shout out to Tahano Blast. Shout out to, to the Tango Blast, man. No, you yeah, goddamn me, uh. Yeah, they always kept their shit over there. Mexico yeah. State, you know, they always, you didn't know what the fuck they was over there. They just Mexicans, but they was always yeah. together eating. They make their shit look good and fun. Niggas, conniving, hogging bench, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All type of shit, but, um, I need me a bench. So I say, you know what, fuck it. I might be hot back here, but I, I want this back bench. It's gonna be the crib bench. So, you know, it's gonna be a crib bench, you know, niggas, some niggas, you know, this is the only place niggas got to sit because you can't sit up there. So it's gonna be kinda of hard to tell niggas back in this back, they can't sit on this back bench, this crib bench. I wonder how we gonna do this. So uh, I talk, I got my little crib niggas together. I say, hey, every time we come out here for now, cuz, this is gonna be our little old park, this is gonna be our little parking spot right here by the window. We can see everybody coming by and walking by, we're gonna keep the little bench. We ain't gonna let nobody sit on this bench. Y'all agree with that? Everybody cool with that? Shit, we cool with that. Hit that nigga. We sit nigga on this bench, we gonna make him get up. This crib bench, so here you go, y'all ready? Yeah. Say, look at our day room. Day room. Everybody in the day room. Y'all listen up real quick. Say, man, for now, this is the crib bench back here, cuz. Don't nobody sell this bitch but cribs back here, my niggas. All right, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. We walked out. See, the thing is, just let them know. That's fur as fur. Yeah. It's called, it's called warning before destruction. Yeah, yeah. We told y'all. It's crib bench back here. Now it's just up to some, anybody gonna violate. Yeah, you know, we did some one day we come out there. Shout out to my nigga Nate boy. Shout out to my nigga Nate boy. Goddamn Pollywood Nate boy. Goddamn, he caught the first violator on the bench. You understand me? Uh. Came out there and goddamn me, nigga playing him a little game of chess. You know what I'm saying? On our bench, on crib bench. So we like, goddamn, so Nate boy, you know, he was always on go anyway. He like, goddamn, cuz, what's, what's up? What's, what's, what's up? What's playing on the bench, cuz? Uh, I told him, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, cuz. I tell you, let them finish their game, cuz. You hear me? Oh, they ain't doing shit, cuz. I let them finish their game. And they said, no, nah, cuz. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I didn't know Nate didn't like the nigga that was playing chess. So it didn't matter what was being played. Nate wants the nigga off the bench. You hear me? Right, right. You know what right. He just used that. He's like, oh, hell no, nah, cuz. You said ain't nobody. Ain't no. He said, he said, say, say, look at cuz. And he told him, he said, man, y'all gonna have to get up off the bench. The nigga was like, man, what? The nigga looked at my partner like, what? What you say? What you mean we gotta get off the bench? Like, oh shit, Nate. You know our rules, though. Hey, yeah. yeah you know our rules. If you call it out, it's immediately. You know, there's no turning back. Yeah. But Nate was scrubbing. 
So the nigga, the nigga stood up and told me what you mean. We got we have to get off the mix. And I swear to God, Nate walked that nigga ass all the way over to that toilet in that sink. I mean, bang, bang, just went to work in him. I said, oh shit. The bitch is officially on. The bitch is made. Oh, the bitch is on. And that's for any nigga. How long, day room? Yeah. For any nigga sit on this bench. I told y'all, man, don't come back here on this bench, man. Y'all, this crib bench, my niggas, on everything. There's a nigga came out. I ain't even tell you about the Midland nigga. It was, it was a nigga from Midland. I ain't even say your last name because I don't want to incriminate that because everybody in the world going to know you, but you know who you is. Nigga came in there from Midland, man. You know, I'm from Midland. You know, I'm a good nigga from Midland. Shout out to my nigga, the little Baby D Goods, too. Baby D Goods, they came on. Yeah, my little baby. Yeah. Little Goody. Little Goody. Yeah, we yeah. turned him into a crib. I didn't want to. But he, he made his own decision. You understand me? But, he, but, but he's a smart one with it. That's my little home. That's my little homie. Randall. Little Randall, man. Crip. That's my little loke. That's my little loke out of West Texas. Little, right, little right, good. Right, right. Yeah. Uh. But we made our land work on benches, man. We, benches, man. We we kept a bench. Crip niggas kept a bench. Crip niggas kept a bench, man. You couldn't sit. You could you could sit anywhere you wanted back there on our benches. And everybody knew that's that's person on bench back there. Right. I worked my way. Wait, oh, so after we 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 got yeah, a couple months with about, about six, three months, you know. I bitch got too small, a little bit. The, the, the gang got too big for a small bench. We needed us one of them benches up there where the fan blowing. If we can, if we can take this bench, you know, it's, it's a chest move. You don't move immediately, but you move. So my thing, we, I, I snuck on the bench. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, well, now nah, I ain't gonna even lie. Shout out to my R.I.P. to my nigga Big Red Ant, man. Everybody know Ant out of um, out of Dallas, Big Ant, man. Red man, R.I.P. the ant. Shout out to my nigga Silk too, man. And my nigga Silk, man. Silk and Ant, y'all was good, y'all was close. Part. Shout out to my nigga, my homeboy heard my nigga say said free. Shout out to Say said, man. The, the, the general, uh no. -uh. The bench, man. The bench, the bench. We 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 want red, big, big, big ant told me one day, he said, say man, come eat, come, come eat with me. Come here, nigga, come eat with me one day. I said, come eat with you. That's on the bench. I get to get on the bench and eat. Shit, under the goddamn fan? He said, yeah, man, come on, man. I said, ain't nobody see this. He said, well, you know, what the shit you sit over here? Such and such, such and such, right I was like, yeah. He said, but ain't no, the girl just went on. I said, oh, I need that spot. I need that spot. Yeah. So I, I, that's how I ended up getting on the bench. My friend, what was the cold thing about it? It must have been a guard playing because that was the spot where all the air blew. When the little, when the little stiller fan did, I was like, damn. I can feel a little air. That's all it takes a little air. Prison is hell. Prison is hell. You know how they say in the Bible, all they ask for a little, old, a little tip of water on the end of their tongue? Yeah. That's Ferguson. All you want to feel is a little piece of air on your skin. That's how hot it be. It be so hot in Ferguson, man, the walls be sweating. The hallways be sweating, homie. It's hell. You can see the goddamn waves in the motherfucking hallway. You don't give a damn about when it's hot, it's hot. When it's cold, it's motherfucking cold. Right. It's so cold, you touch some goddamn balls and you have to peel your motherfucking hand off them hoes, man. You hear me? That's how I call yeah. Niggas sleeping in their socks and their boots and all their goddamn clothes and their jackets over there, niggas. Fuck is y'all talking? It's like you niggas sleeping outside, niggas. Why? Because niggas done bust out all the motherfucking windows during the summertime right. to get air. So now when the wintertime come, they don't put windows back up. They just let the air come on through. Y'all knock them out? Okay, now y'all ain't got no windows. Niggas be throwing all type of shit trying to get some air to come inside this motherfucker so that, that prison can breathe, man. Yeah, man, benches, man. Wreck yard, man. One time, man, it was an old, old school nigga. That was on G Block, man. And uh, he used to lock seeds with all the Crip niggas. Tell us from a Crip. Tell us from a Crip. Let's rock right quick. Right. This old man used to lock seeds with all the niggas, and he used to do. He used to knit shit together. He would make you a motherfucking um, uh, motherfucking uh, a, a, a goddamn me a muscle shirt. He'll make you a stock of wave hat. It was a lot of tap. Nigga make you a pair of socks, nigga, if you want to. So he didn't need anything together. That was a little old hustle, making muscle shirts and shit like that. And so when he got into a little white boy, a little uh, uh, AB, Aaron Brotherhood, white boy over there. And uh, the old nigga comes to me one day, I'm, I'm going to get his name. And the old nigga says, say, look at him. He sent word for me, say, he sent word that he needed to see OG person on the rec yard. ASAP, the nigga that's calling the shots. I said, I said, okay, I go out there, man. I come out there, he had been having a fight. This is the day that the rick yard turned into the burn, the rick yard. 
Right. This the day the wreck yard turned into the wreck yard, niggas. Right. You hear me? Uh. So the old man came out there and he said, say, man, look at him. Old man will beat the fuck up. I'm like, God damn, old school, what happened? Say, little white boy named Nephew just, he 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 just told, he just told me down, man. He just told me down. I said, God damn, I see. He was, uh. He told you down like that? What them crip niggas do? Them crip niggas didn't help you? What, what, what was your help? What, what was the crip niggas at? When he was turning you down like that, no? He said, oh, man, them crip niggas sit there. He said, that's why I sent for you. That's why I want to talk to you. I said, what's wrong, man? He said, yeah, man, he said, uh, he said the white boy finna come back out here, he wanna fight again. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, okay. He said, well, he said, that's what I wanna holler at you about. I said, you got him, don't you? He said, no, I'm gonna need you to chew on him, puppy. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to chew on him. That's why I came to talk to you. I said, you know where I respect it. I respect it. Right. So whoever you come out there, though, I'll take care of that for you, school. Don't worry about it. He come out here to fight. Yeah, he coming back. Oh, but there he go right there. He got that. This nigga right here, he was scared of the motherfucker. He like, oh, there he go. There he go. Like he dropped his head. I said, okay. And so I seen the white boy come out there. I like little nephew, and he had two more goddamn me Aaron Brotherhoods with him. That was square business. And uh, they was sitting there, and he was putting, he was tying them goddamn boots up. Y'all know what time it is. When it's time to motherfucking lace up, niggas. You niggas know what time it is? When it's time to motherfucking lace up, niggas. You need to know what time it is when it's time to motherfucking tie them broke in and boots up. It's right. them field boots. See, these motherfuckers been through the storm and the rain. I brought these home, nigga, so I never had to put them on again. Right. You hear me? Yeah. Say, you know, you gotta put them broke in. That's all you got to fight in. But when you see them tying them up, it's going down. So um, I, I paid attention. And so I was like, damn. It disturbed me that this was an old school cat and none of them young crip niggas over there. They let this white man, they let this, you know, this, 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 this wood back, back to beat, beat him up like that. Right. I mean, he would beat the fuck up. This nigga eyes was black, he nigga would beat up, man. Right. Where was the crib niggas at? That's so how I never forget when the crib niggas came out. I never forget. Where I had to start learning the power that I did have on, 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 on some gangster shit. Because I'm gonna tell y'all something, niggas ain't listening to everybody. Right. And this young nigga made that clear to me when he went outside and I asked him. I said, say, youngster, I said, God damn, when you over there, when the old school guy whooped with the catfish. They, they want to catch something. i get to it in a minute. i get to it in a minute. But anyway, I thought it was catfish. But anyway, I said, were not you over there when the old school guy's ass whooped? He's like, yeah. I said, y'all didn't help him. That nigga said, nigga, I ain't in that shit. I ain't finna help that nigga do shit. Like, you a crip, ain't you? He said, yeah. I said, okay, that's cool. All right, all right, all right nigga. You said that. Nigga said, you ain't help me. Right. I went to another, I went to another crib nigga, and I asked him, I said, say man, I said, um, what's up with old school? Why, why y'all didn't help old school though? He said, man, man, nigga can't make me do shit. Fuck that nigga, that nigga should just, that was him and that white boy. I said, alright, that's cool. So I, I noticed that these niggas ain't niggas that's on the block with me. Niggas on the block with me know how I rock. Them two niggas right there just totally just shot me off. Like I was a nobody because I ain't over there with them. Okay. Say, look at little homie. So we go in on the white boy. I go up to say, say, man, what's going on? He said, say, man, you know, my homeboy's going to, big white boy told me, say, his homeboy nephew going to look at, oh, I said, look, 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 man. I said, old school ain't doing no more fighting. I say, but, um, keep the shoes laced up. We ain't going to let you, ain't going to disappoint you. You came out here for, for a fight, you going to leave one with one. With a crib. That's a crib. You fought, you beat the crib up, you, white boy, you don't want to whoop the crib like that? Okay. I mean, you got something. We gonna see what you got. So I said, me and you gonna go take. We gonna go handle that right now. Me and you. So one of the big white boys to say, hey, "Hey, person, can I talk to you guy?" No, just no, no. I'm like, "What's up?" Shit, nigga, you you jump in the ring too. You hear me? Everything you fight. Goddamn me. So the white boy said, "No, man, say, bro. You know that I like I like the white boys because they're real disciplined. They real, you know, the square business ones. They know how to communicate. They know how to come at you like in this their favorite word. Look at bro. Come here, bro. Let me talk to you. That's when you know they good people. You dig know what I'm saying? He said, he said, man, you way too big for him, man. You know that. Come on, man. I mean, you, I, I know it, but I get to show out a little bit. You know what I mean? He said, nah, he said, you way too big for him. I said, Ray, he said, maybe first you find somebody out here his size, man. You know, get, I said, yeah, I said, because he ain't going in without a fight. I'm not going to leave him come out here looking for a fight or crip, and he don't get a fight. He going to get a fight. You know what I'm saying? And anybody with him, too. 
That's what y'all want. No, no, we just we just let her get one on one. I said, I'll tell you what. Well, ain't nobody gonna stand over her. Tell him to go over there by the weight bench. I'm gonna send somebody over and they're gonna scratch right there in that corner with no crips over there and no white boys over there either. So them two can fight and they'll stop up on my. Me, I say stop and he stop. You no, know, whoever go down, you know, we, we, I'm fur. He said, we just told him my partner. Shout out to my nigga D Lo. Everybody know who D Lo is. Everybody know who D Lo is. That's my rider gun. That's my shotgun. That's my pistol. That's my firearm. That's my sidearm, nigga. D Lo is a little bit baby D. Then my side, I shot D Lo over there. D Lo works clean. Right. Could have been a Mike Tyson way back. Could have whooped Mike Tyson way back in the day. Square business. Square business. I watch D Lo Max. We get to, he got a whole different story. So D Lo went over there. He fought the white boy. And he fought him. White boy had a nice first round. D Lo whooped him the next two rounds. And I called it out. It was over with. That was cool. All right. Me and the white boy shook hands. We left it, everything cool. He go back to the block, y'all straight, straight, all cool. All right, I'm not satisfied. What I'm not saying, what, what's fucking me up is the two niggas that I asked the first time about helping the old man. Yeah. Okay, now let's get back to them. Cause I can't, I can't let you niggas go back in there saying what you niggas said to me and I'm the nigga. Yeah. And I'm the nigga? I don't know, y'all, oh, oh, y'all thought that was over with? Oh, no, nah, I, I just had other business to take care of. I'm getting back to y'all. Yeah, we back at y'all. So I went back over there asking you, I said, look at home. I said, come on, man. And this is what fucked me up. Now, we done whooped the white boy got his paper. He even got mowed down over there on the cool. He got whooped. And, and the old school sitting there, they was taking up for us, so on. I said, come on, man. I said, say, remember I asked you a while ago? About helping the old man? You said, um, you, you ain't in there. You, 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 ain't got, you ain't got to do nothing for no nigga. I said, it's cool. That's cool. I said, but will you fight? They said, hell yeah, I'll fight. I said, we finna find out then. Me and you finna get that. We finna fight. Me and you. He like, shit, hey, hey, where, where they come from? Nah, nigga. I said, look at home, you too. I said, you. I said, say, then I asked you where to go to, um, just come look out for the old man. You say you ain't such, such. Don't, as my thing is this, don't y'all lock seeds with this old man every day? He cripping. We know old school ain't a crip, but he adopted cripping while he was in there. And he been a square minute. He been lawyer to it ever since. You dig what I'm saying? And these niggas lock seeds with this man every every motherfucking day. You dig what I'm saying? So y'all didn't help him? When y'all seen him, y'all didn't know y'all y'all didn't do no cripping with him? Y'all let that man beat both this motherfucking man, old man eyes closed like that, nigga? Y'all niggas didn't help him? Oh nigga, we finna fight, niggas. Nigga, we finna fucking fight, niggas. Matter of fact, come here, crip, all you crip niggas come here. This the day the wreck y'all jumped out. This the day the wreck everybody remember this on Ferguson. Yeah, I already know, man. That's it for that episode right there. Um, what I was about to tell y'all, I got the OG Percy playlist too, man, with all the um videos I put of him. Um It's in his playlist under his um name. Got the uh exclusive Charleston White Before the Fame playlist. It's in his name also, so y'all could go tap in. Anything y'all missed that y'all won't watch that y'all ain't probably never seen or I haven't seen in years. It's there. So, I'll be starting to categorize the playlist and shit. Add a playlist to them shit so a nigga could go straight to, you know what I'm saying, the specific person they won't watch at that time. But, yeah. Um, and I got the Birdman playlist too. But there's only two videos of Birdman. I don't really be posting Birdman that much. He don't have, yeah, that motherfucker don't have too many interviews. But um, those two I had uh, did early on. Yeah, real early. Yeah, fucking right. But, um, yeah, that's it for the motherfucking episode, man. Um, I'm about to clock out this bitch. That was OG Percy Ferguson on it. Part four. Um, about to get in the studio now. Show a little. Like, share, subscribe. You already know. Every motherfucking good movie must come to the end. And they got the... <laughs> Y'all know the best.